Mick Hayes here, Mick like Mick Jagger, Hayes, like Isaac Hayes. Um, so before we go any farther, I just want to apologize. I've been kind of working with the camera thing. I do have a nicer camera, which actually you can see here. Uh, but I noticed again that the sound was pretty much terrible on it. It's got a little shotgun mic, but it was it was definitely not <clears throat> not to my liking when I listened back to the last video. So I apologize for that. Uh, so I've kind of switched back to the iPhone here just for uh, for a minute and kind of do some research this weekend to see if maybe there's a setting that's off or something. Uh, but I did receive a very kind request in a comment uh, on uh, a little more uh, in depth. Uh, detail on the triads. So I wanted to kind of go into that a little bit today, which brings us closer to the weekend. So first thing first, happy Friday if you're following along or whenever you're watching this, if it be somewhere in the future, we're celebrating on Friday. <laughs> but uh, nonetheless, uh, so we're dealing with the key of A minor and I kind of showed uh, a couple of different uh, ways of, of moving this uh, this little piece around. That is again a, a specific sequence uh, of a number of different triads. Uh, so, if you're not familiar with what triads are, great. We're just going to do a quick kind of go over here. So, triads are basically one, three, and five, or one minor three and five, or sometimes uh, featuring uh, the dominant seven. There's a, there's a, triads all over the neck, and triads all over music theory. Um, but if you're not familiar with music theory, just to kind of backstep that a little bit. You have the major scale, right? So what we do is we take each one, three, and five out of that in order to make a major chord and one flat three to make a minor chord. Uh, and then going through that, there's also, you know, your sus four, your sus two, all your other triads. But this sequence here is actually um, mostly one, three, five triads. So that, what I called earlier as an A minor, is the same shape from your D minor that you learned down here in cowboy chords. So just moved up all the way through A. Uh, and again, the root note is a little difficult to find uh, in this sense because the root note, if you were to play this in the traditional cage system, it's played uh, with, with that note, but we're not using that. So but safe way to call that just a A minor triad. The next one is just a D shape from the, again, the cage system. If you haven't learned the cage system, uh, I highly suggest it's something that you kind of brush up on uh, and we can talk about it here in one of these videos, but a D chord moved up, you know, D uh, up to G. So that's just a G triad features again one three and five then this a minor triad which is the same three notes on different strings moved around and then another g triad which again stems from like your f to an e shape and again so cage c a g e d that e shape that's the triad. Then we move up to F. We just have to bar the first fret. F, G, A, but we're playing A minor. And then that G behind A, which gives you that major, major 11 sound. So one more time, that's a D minor shape, but an A minor chord. That is a D shape, but a G triad, I should say, excuse me. That is a A minor triad <clears throat> in just a bar position. Uh, but again, the major form of that, just for future reference, would be that. I move the third uh, down a half step. And then a G major triad. And then I add this, which actually would be a dominant seven uh, triad. And then sometimes I'll actually go back to G and then 
I'll go right through F. It just kind of depends on where I start playing it in the fold of the song. So again, all of these triads are everywhere in every key. And again, if that's, we're just learning it in A, but once you learn those positions, and once you learn that sequence, just, there's nobody to say you can't do it in, in A, you know, or D, excuse me. You don't have to play the whole thing, you can just... jazzy pop feel. Nice stuff. So I hope that some of that helps. Um, I'm excited. It looks like we're going to hit 500 subscribers this weekend if we stay on track. So thank you to everyone that subscribed already. Thank you if you're considering subscribing and do subscribe by the time I get to the next video. I might do one Sunday, uh, but I might also just kind of wait till Monday and, and put up one, you know, just Monday through Friday. Uh, but I hope that some of this helps. If you have any more questions, please leave them below in the comments. The questions actually help me with knowing what you guys want to learn and want from me. Uh, so I appreciate that. Please follow along and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much.